Ah, hey there. I was just remembering how I'm in high school, and that can only mean one thing. I want to play some Call of Duty! Now, I could play on an actual console like an Xbox One, a PS4, or the Xbox 360. Or I could play it on a relevancy, but I want to take it with me on the go. So no, I'm not going to play it on the PS because I'm not a fucking madman. I'm going to play it on my phone. <laughs> yes, when the iPhone was unveiled, one question was asked. But can it play Call of Duty? Back when the App Store was in its infancy, console developers tried to port their console games onto it. Because come on, millions of people plus portability equals profit. Well, in theory, yes, that could work. I mean, look at the Switch. People are rebuying all their old games on there because, you know, they want to take them with them. But on the iPhone, they fucking bombed. They were overpriced and oftentimes clunky and unintuitive. Some still exist today. I mean, look at Devil May Cry 4. But most are delisted and are unplayed. This is a good sign. But Tyler, we're here to talk shooters, not shooters. Yes, I know, I'm getting that. Just give me a second. Activision jumped on the bandwagon and released five Call of Duty games on the phone. That's the amount of Call of Duty's DS and the Wii got. So it's kind of be the same or higher quality. So what's first? Call of Duty Zombies, a mobile version of Nazi Zombies from Call of Duty World at War. It had three versions. Why? First was called, get this, Call of Duty World at War Zombies. Wow, don't get too creative, Activision. It contained one map for $5, which was fine. But it was not during Toten, aka one of the most simple maps in Call of Duty Zombies history. I mean, yes, it's a good map and all, but can you really play this for hours on end? Now, they also had two more maps, Verrooked and Shinonuma, but they were each $5 each as in-app purchases. I'm just genuinely curious to see who paid $15 for this. The games barely were 5 let alone $15. There was a version called Call of Duty World of War Zombies 2, but it was just Shinonuma for $5. And you had to buy Nocturne and Tone for $5. And finally, there was a version for the iPad that came with Nocturne and Tone and Brooke, but other than that, it was the exact same thing. Later on, they made the DLC free for the original version, and released Dirt Reese for free. And for the people who paid $10 for those two maps? Fuck you. Yeah, they got no refunds. And for the actual game? I can't play it. Later on, I got a sequel known as Black Ops Zombies, which played similarly to the original with a few changes. And it plays as well as Call of Duty can on an iPhone, but it's still better than the DS. However, this time, it's $7, but it comes with four maps. And these maps are basically just a demake of the originals on the 360, because they play the exact same with nothing taken out. Which is great, because you can still say you played the maps the way they were meant to be played. You'll be called the fucking loser, but you can say you played these maps. Next is Call of Duty Strike Force, which is a spin-off from Black Ops 2. I can't play it. Yeah, it was delisted, but I do remember what it played like. It was a weird mix of Call of Duty and XCOM, strangely. You can move your squad around and issue commands, and sometimes go into first person mode and play like an actual Call of Duty game. Boom! Three down, what's next? Shit! Alright, let's boot it up and... I'm connected to the internet at work, damn you! Yeah, this one doesn't work either. I can still download it, I just can't play it. It was nothing special, it was just Clash of Clans with a Call of Duty skin. Well, we aren't doing great. I've only been able to play one of them, and three of them just don't work. They'd still have one more chance to redeem themselves though, with Call of Duty Mobile. Oh my god, it actually works! This is a good sign. It's just Call of Duty multiplayer with a weird mix of all the games, with characters, weapons, and mechanics taken from the console games. It also has the bane of my existence with Blackout. I never liked this mode. When Blackouts 4 came out, I fucking hated it. And today, I still hate it. Average multiplayer, terrible zombies, and Blackout was just the cherry on top. But who knows, maybe it'll be better here. It's exactly what I expected. I mean, it's fine, but I didn't like it. It's just another Battle Royale mode to me. So yeah, Call of Duty on the phone is shit. They're just dumbed down console ports, which is fine, and it works, but it just fries my battery life. And while there's some fun to be had, just play on an actual console, you'll get more enjoyment out of it than this. And if you'll excuse me, I have some bad guys that need bullets at them. But which one shall I play? 